YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is an idea I just came up with, and it is the top 10 most wearable contemporary handbags in my collection that you can still get, at least in another color perhaps, than what I have to show you. I think mostly you can still get the colors I'm going to show you today. So, if that's something you're interested in, please stick around. First, I'd like to address a comment somebody made recently. And the comment was that basically they did not like me filming in my closet. They felt like it was cramped. They felt like that it was just too much, I guess. And they said they did appreciate when I showed bags close up that I should be able to show bags further away, which I'm not sure I quite understand that other than the fact that it's cluttered around me. And my reply to them was that this is really the best place I have found to film because the sound quality is the best, probably because there's so much stuff around me. I don't have any sort of an echo. The other rooms in my house all pretty much have very tall ceilings. And so when I film there, I get an echo. And I don't know if you all noticed that when I did my video on my black Prada re-edition unboxing. I can link that video down below. I also showed my Christmas decor in that video and I filmed that in my living room and to me the sound just doesn't come across as well because of the high ceilings and the wood floors. I suppose I could try filming in my bedroom because the ceilings while they're higher than what they are in my closet they are not completely vaulted to like two story levels. So if that's something you all would be interested in me trying, I can certainly do that. But it just got me thinking, you know, maybe you all don't like watching me in my closet. And if more people feel that way and let me know, I could try to find another setup to at least do part of the time. It is very handy to film in here because I have access to all of my bags and all of my straps. And so it takes me a lot less time than it would if I was hauling everything to a different part of my house. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started into these top 10 most wearable contemporary handbags. I'm not showing these in any particular order, but first I would like to show you my Cassie 19 in Sport Red. Now this color is not necessarily the most wearable, but right now it's the most wearable for me because this is one of the colors of my boys school team. It's also one of the colors of the University of Kansas and we do go up and watch basketball games and football games up there. So it's a very wearable color. I've gotten into a lot more red lately than I ever have before because of sports and realized that I do really like red. In fact, I'd like to have some more red clothing. So when I come across pieces, I do tend to consider them and snatch them up. I have this beautiful Cassie accessorized with a strap from another bag that I own that I'm going to show you here in a minute. That's another one of the most wearable bags in my collection. She also has a Rexy and I like to decorate my hang tags with little charms. This charm came from a strap called the a strap with chain. Sometimes it's available on Coach's website. Sometimes it's not, but it's a leather strap with chain in the middle. And they accessorized it with this little dangly doodad. And I just prefer it on a hang tag versus a strap, like flopping around on my chest. I don't like things flopping around on my chest. I don't know if you all have heard me say that before, but like the swinging pouches, you know, swinging charms on my chest isn't really where it's at for me. But I thought I would go ahead and try these bags on and just kind of demonstrate how they're useful. First, I wanna show you that this bag does come with a very thin leather strap. Most all of my Cassie 19s, I have a leather strap from another bag that I can use with them that matches. This one I don't, so I go for this strap or a black one I have that came with a camera bag that also has the red stripe. I like this one slightly better because it doesn't say coach on the strap. That's another thing I like to avoid is having a brand name written across my chest. It doesn't always work. I have a few bags that have that and I do love those bags. So it's not an end all be all rule, but if I can, I like to be kind of unbranded, like very simple branding, minimal branding. And that's one of the reasons why I like the Cassie 19 so much. 
Another reason why I find it so wearable is because of how it is compartmentalized. I can fit absolutely everything I need in here and it's not jumbled because I can put my two card cases in the front, my pouch in the middle and set a few items like my key fob and AirPods case on top. And then I also have this back pouch for receipts and checks and cash. And I have this additional pouch here for gift cards or whatever I might wanna put inside. The Cassie 19 is available in a few colors on the Coach website. I think getting it from 24S is the best place. I can link that down below because you can at least get 15% off with the code FIRST15. And if you use my link, it really helps me out. But if you don't, I totally understand. So as you can see, the Cassie 19 is just a really nice size. I'm 5'8 and I'm about 150 pounds, trying to lose a little bit of that. But I love this size and I've actually sold all of my larger size Cassies because I found that I bumped them into things a lot and I didn't want to wear the corners, but this size here is just so wearable. I also want to remind you that these bags do come with a chain, but mine that I'm wearing right now, I don't have the chain on it, but I do wear it that way sometimes. I think it's fun to dress them up or to dress them down. So the second bag to make my most wearable contemporary handbag list is my Feel Toe 22 in the Signature. Now you can still get this pattern, I believe, from the Coach website. I love it because it's got the rust colored leather, it's got the truffle horse and carriage print on the sides, and it's just super cute. I have it accessorized with the Michael Kors Palm, and when you look inside, I have an insert from Green Tag Inserts. Now this one, I believe was actually designed for the Alma BB, but since then they have come out with an insert specifically for this style that's amazing. I am currently trying to sell one of my Filto 22s because I figured three was enough. I didn't need four. That is this beauty right here. It does not include the poof because I have another bag that matches with, but this is the insert that was designed to fit the bag and the strap that goes with her is inside. So if anybody is interested in this wearable Field Tote 22, she is up for sale for $260. And that does include the insert, which retails for over $30, and the bag retails for $350. Now I have this Field Tote paired with one of the Coach Novelty straps. I think that this strap is still available. If it is, I'll link it below. As you can see, it's just super handy to get in and out of. You just reach in and out, it's open and I love it. The one thing you have to watch out for with the field totes is that sometimes the magnets don't work. None of them are particularly strong, but I do like the shape of the bag better when they close. And so if that's something that would bother you, make sure to check it out before you take the tags off if you do end up ordering one of these. Let's switch it up a little bit and move on to a Tory Burch bag. This is the Tory Burch small Willa bag. I recently took a trip to the Tory Burch outlet. I can link that video down below. And I showed you this Willa bag. As you can see, it has a super generous back pocket that'll hold your phone. It's got the double chains. So you can wear this on the shoulder or crossbody, which I'll show you here in a minute. It has a very generous interior with a pocket in the back that zips. This bag holds everything I need. The only caveat or the only downside that I see is that it has, I believe, a polyurethane inner flap. It doesn't say that in any of their descriptions, but that's what it feels like to me. And knowing that their premium Eleanor bag sometimes has a polyurethane inner flap or a bonded leather inner flap, the fact that the outlet bag might have one does not surprise me. The rest of the bag though is a glazed goat skin and it feels wonderful. The taupe color is no longer available, but there is a volcanic stone that is similar. And I showed that in my outlet shopping video. I really like the volcanic stone as well. It, it tends to come off a little bit more gray than this, but it's a really nice balance between a gray and a taupe. So here's the bag on the shoulder. You can see it has a really nice drop. And then if you wanna wear it crossbody, the leather break at the top kind of helps with your shoulder and it's a really nice length. For me, I think that you could go up a little bit and it would still be okay. You could also go down a little bit and it would still be okay. So that is the Tory Burch Small Willa in the color taupe. 
Next, let's cover a Marc Jacobs tote, and that is the Tote Bag Mini. This Marc Jacobs tote comes with a thin crossbody strap, which I've never worn. I think that this strap is too thin for the bag. So I have accessorized her with this beautiful strap from seethroughpurses.com. I can link that website down below as well as a discount code of mine for 30% off. This chain came from Next Fashion and I just love how it blings it up. I've had people tell me that they think it's too much, they don't like it, blah, blah, blah. I love it, so that's why it's on my bag. If you get one of these bags, you don't have to put a chain on it. It is totally up to you. But this is how I wear her. Let me go ahead and try it on for you. So I love this because with the web strap being thick, it is super comfortable. I like how it coordinates. I do have other straps that also match this bag from see-through purses. I just think it looks super cute. It's easy to get in and out of. And while I'm talking about getting in and out of the bag, let me just show you. I've got a green tag insert inside of this bag. Green Tag Inserts has made a custom insert for this bag, and here it is, perfect match, and is lined with pockets, which is something this bag is somewhat lacking. You can see this has a pocket right here, and that's it. It also, I guess, has a little slot in the front of the pocket that you could put a card or two in. But other than that, there's no pockets. And if you happen to get one of the canvas ones, there are absolutely no pockets in those. So that's why these inserts are nice. And plus they just kind of keep the inside of your bag from getting scratched and dinged. So that is the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag mini. So we are on to number five of the 10 most wearable contemporary bags in my collection. So this is the soft tabby in the denim. You can't get this particular color in denim anymore, but there is a black denim with silver hardware that's available now that I can link below. I absolutely love this bag in this colorway in particular or in this material in particular. And the reason is because it's just so easy to wear. I mean, getting in and out of it is just a breeze. I do recommend a green tech insert for this bag as well. I seem like a broken record. Now, when I got my insert for this particular bag, I got a SUNY bag and bag insert through Etsy and it fits pretty darn well. But as you can see here in my gray one, the insert from Green Tag insert fits even better because this insert was not designed for this bag. So while I recommend this bag in the denim in particular, I do love the different colors of leather ones, but I find these to be a little bit fussy because when I close the flap, I kind of want to poke it up and smooth it out. And I don't feel like I have to do that with the denim. So that would be why the denim is a little bit more wearable for me than the leather versions. I generally wear this bag on my shoulder. I don't wear it crossbody, but it comes with an amazing crossbody strap that has grommets on it and is super adjustable. Let me go ahead and try it on for you. So here you can see the, the bag crossbody. It's excellent. I've got some adjustability up. I can adjust it up one notch. I can adjust it down several notches. So if you're really short, this strap may be too long for you, but the shoulder length I think will suit most anybody and I absolutely love it. If the shoulder length is too short for you, you can pop on these extenders from Amazon. The hardware is pretty much a perfect match and that makes it into a long shoulder. Here's what that looks like. If I wear it with an extender, I generally just wear it with one of the extenders and I put it in the back. So it's just a little bit of eye candy for the back. And then it hits me kind of in the middle, well, definitely in the middle between the two spots. So that is the Coach Soft Tabby in the denim jacquard, and that is bag number five. We've got five to go. Next, I'd like to show you a little Longchamp. I'm showing you one of the Longchamp extra small Le Pliage bags in the Matisse leather. The Matisse leather is a blend of lamb and goat. I am not sure exactly what that means, but I have found it to be very durable. I wear this bag a lot to sporting events because of the color. And it is a super smooshy bag. So I do put an insert inside. Green Tag Inserts does make an insert, but the one I have is from Samorga. 
Samorga shipping is super expensive. And so I wouldn't recommend buying from them unless you have a relatively large order because the shipping will be as much as the insert if you're just getting one thing. But I do also have the green tag inserts and in some of my other Longchamp Extra small bags and they're great. So here's the bag crossbody on me. As you can see, it's a little short. So you might do an extender like what I just showed you. It also comes in the gunmetal color if you are taller or have a different build than I do. But I really like this length and it's very comfortable. You could also do a long shoulder or carry it top handle. And the other option is to get a custom chain. And I've worn a lot of these bags with custom chains as well. The gunmetal hardware on these bags is very easy to match. And then they also come with silver hardware sometimes. That hardware is very easy to match. And the pale gold on some of these bags is also very easy to match. I love these bags. At one time I had, I think 25. I, I have sold several. I think my count is at 15 now and I couldn't be happier to have every single one of them that I have and I would recommend this size wholeheartedly. So next, let me show you another Coach bag. This is the Coach Soft Pebble Camera Bag. They've come out with a new style and I can link it down below and pop a picture of it in right here. And the new style is very nice, but it doesn't come with a web strap. I love the web straps. Now on this one, I don't necessarily love this web strap because I like to have my straps match my bags in terms of what's in the strap. And this one really only matches if you look at the accent leather bits. So I do tend to swap this strap out for a different one. And one of the options of straps comes from my soft tabby. I, I like to wear it with this leather strap. These soft pebble camera bags, the second generation, they come with a skinny leather strap that's about the same width as the Cassie 19 strap. And they also come with a web strap. This is first generation, so it only came with a web strap or the skinny strap. With taupe, this was the only option. And I can link this one down below. You can still get it internationally from the hut. I've had good experiences with the hut. Not everybody does, but I've gotten, you know, this bag, the aqua bag, the black bag, and the chalk bag, I believe all from them and had good experiences. So I can link those, but I love these little bags. They have plenty of room. They open up big and wide because the zipper comes down over the edge. They have a functional front pocket, which I don't generally use because I don't want to have to unlock my pocket. And then also a very generous back pocket that you can fit a cell phone in. Here it is on my body. This strap works perfectly with today's outfit. I just really like these. They're very, because of the curve of them, they just fit really nicely on the body. They don't jut out on the sides. I recommend them. And if you don't want to order internationally, you can probably pick up some of these still pre-loved or find a few on Amazon or other sites that have some lingering bags hanging on. But there's also that new style. And I know Julie with Agent Bag Reviews reviewed her black one, which is the new style, and she loves it. So I think you can't go wrong either way. Next, I have the Coach Tally Bucket Bag. And I'm showing it to you in black today. This bag came with a beautiful strap that has a chain detail woven into it. And all of the tallies have this type of woven pattern in them, which is so much nicer than the coach written on the strap. Now, again, this kind of breaks my rule because there's no black in the weave. I wish there was, but it is a gorgeous strap and I can use it with my black soft pebble camera bag. And I can also use my strap that came with that bag on this bag, which I love to switch up my straps. This bag also came with one of those grommeted straps, like I just showed you that came with the soft tabby, except for where the tally straps are a little shorter. So if you're on the shorter side, you can go with the tally and the straps are gonna work better for you than the ones that come with the soft tabby. The reason why the straps are shorter is because with this style of bag, having the grommets right up at the very top, you don't need quite as much length Plus the bag drops lower on your body, so you don't want to have it hanging down by your knees. So 
The straps are shorter, and if you want to use them interchangeably with other bags, you might find that those bags are up higher than you would like. This bag is decked out with a green tag insert. I feel like I am doing a promotional video for green tag inserts. It is not a sponsored video, but most of these were given to me by green tag inserts. I've bought a few of them because I do like them so much, but you can see it is an excellent fit, kind of tucks right behind the zipper area if you want to leave the bag open. And it's just very, very nice. The lining of the bag is a micro suede and has one pocket. So by adding this particular insert, you can still use the pocket that comes with the bag, but then you also get three more. I like my bags having extra pockets because it keeps the insides from being jumbled. It allows me to fit into a smaller bag whenever a card holder might take up just a little bit too much space. So I'm a big fan and I didn't used to be, but I totally am now. And then you get the bonus that keeps the inside of your bag clean. So it's win-win in my opinion. Next, I have another Tory Burch bag to show you, and it is this beautiful ruched Kira. You can still find these on sale. They are nearly $500 even on sale, but they are worth it in my opinion. I mean, the lambskin leather on these is to die for, and these have way more structure to them than the typical Chevron style Kira. I love the hardware. I love that there's interior pockets. There's three of them. It's got the jacquard weaving on the inside. I like the magnet. I just like so much about this bag, don't I? I like the new logo that is raised up more and a little bigger. And I prefer to wear this bag on the shoulder, but it does have a nice leather brake that you can adjust to fit you where you want. Not all leather brakes are adjustable like that. So I can pull this forward further on my shoulder than I can with, let's say, the Willa bag that I just showed you. And the reason is because there's only one leather brake. If you want to wear it on the shoulder, having one leather brake instead of two may not be quite as comfortable for you because you do have metal on your shoulder with one of those straps. But when you have two leather brakes, if you do want to wear the bag crossbody, you can't pull the strap forward or backward so that this bit is further forward on your shoulder, you're really kind of limited because this strap is holding the other one in place. So that is the Tory Burch Ruched Kira. I would say out of this grouping, this is the most beautiful out of all of them. I wasn't really going for beauty in this particular video. All the bags I find super attractive, but what I was going for was wearability. So with that said, I have one more wearable bag to show you and that is this beautiful Coach Studio bag in the chalk color. I love this style of bag. I think it is gorgeous. You do have to sometimes return one or two of them to find one that is up to your standards. This bag comes with a little set of keys that actually function in this lock. I don't keep the bag locked. The bag's fully lined in leather, and surprise, surprise, there's another green tag insert. I don't think you need this unless you're just wanting to protect the leather on the inside of your bag. I have recently gotten some card holders that have a metallic logo on one side of them that might scratch this beautiful glove tan leather. So I do like having that insert in the middle portion. You can see there's tons of organization in this bag without having that insert at all. And I love it. It's just a little on the heavy side because it is fully lined in leather, but because it comes with a nice crossbody strap, this is the strap it comes with. It is nice. It is comfortable on the shoulder. Now I have swapped it out with my strap from my tally because I love the grommets. And again, you can see this is a little high on my body and I like it that way. I feel like I can keep it protected. It's easy access to get in and out of. It's just a win-win. I love it. And it looks really pretty with a chain draped across the front, but if you're going for wearability, draping chains across the front is not really as wearable as not doing that just because they get in the way a bit. But that is number 10. Can you believe it? This video is gonna be half an hour long, holy cow. And it's gonna take me half an hour to put up all this stuff. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. 
Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there, or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.